Critical consciousness, conscientization, or conscientizacao in Portuguese, is a popular education and social concept developed by Brazilian pedagogue and educational theorist Paulo Freire, grounded in post-Marxist critical theory. Critical consciousness focuses on achieving an in-depth understanding of the world, allowing for the perception and exposure of social and political contradictions. Critical consciousness also includes taking action against the oppressive elements in one's life that are illuminated by that understanding. Topic. Coinage The English term, conscientization, is a translation of the Portuguese term conscientizacao, which is also translated as consciousness raising and critical consciousness. The term was popularized by Brazilian educator, activist, and theorist Paulo Freire in his 1970 work Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Fryer was teaching the poor and illiterate members of Brazilian society to read at a time when literacy was a requirement for suffrage and dictators ruled many South American countries. The term originally derives from Franz Fanon's coinage of a French term, conscientizer, in his 1952 book, Black Skins, White Masks. Topic. Overview Paulo Freire defines critical consciousness as the ability to intervene in reality in order to change it. Critical consciousness proceeds through the identification of generative themes, which Freire identifies as iconic representations that have a powerful emotional impact in the daily lives of learners. In this way, individual consciousness helps end the culture of silence in which the socially dispossessed internalize the negative images of themselves created and propagated by the oppressor in situations of extreme poverty. Liberating learners from this mimicry of the powerful, and the fratricidal violence that results therefrom is a major goal of critical consciousness. Critical consciousness is a fundamental aspect of Fry's concept of popular education. Arlene Goldbard, an author on the subject of community cultural development finds the concept of conscientization to be a foundation of community cultural development. From the glossary of Goldbard's 2006 book New Creative Community, "...conscientization is an ongoing process by which a learner moves toward critical consciousness. This process is the heart of liberatory education. It differs from consciousness raising, in that the latter may involve transmission of preselected knowledge. Conscientization means engaging in praxis, in which one both reflects and takes action on their social reality to break through prevailing mythologies and reach new levels of awareness—in particular, awareness of oppression, being an object of others will rather than a self-determining subject. The process of conscientization involves identifying contradictions in experience through dialogue and becoming part of the process of changing the world. History of application The ancient Greeks first identified the essence of critical consciousness when philosophers encouraged their students to develop an impulse and willingness to stand back from humanity and nature and to make them objects of thought and criticism, and to search for their meaning and significance. In his books Pedagogy of the Oppressed and Education for Critical Consciousness, Fryer explains critical consciousness as a socio-political educative tool that engages learners in questioning the nature of their historical and social situation, which Fryer addressed as reading the world. The goal of critical consciousness, according to Fryer, should be acting as subjects in the creation of democratic society. In education, Fryer implies intergenerational equity between students and teachers in which both learn, both question, both reflect and both participate in meaning-making. Using this idea, and describing current instructional methods as homogenization and lockstep standardization, alternative approaches are proposed, such as the Sudbury model of democratic education schools, an alternative approach in which children, by enjoying personal freedom thus encouraged to exercise personal responsibility for their actions, learn at their own pace rather than following a previously imposed chronologically based curriculum. In a similar form students learn all the subjects, techniques and skills in these schools. The staff are minor actors, the teacher is an advisor and helps just when asked. 
Sudbury model of democratic education schools maintain that values, social justice, critical consciousness, intergenerational equity, and political consciousness included, must be learned through experience, as Aristotle said. For the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them. Picking up on Fry's definition of critical consciousness, Joe L. Kinchelo has expanded the definition of the concept in his work on postformalism. In Kinchelow's formulation postformalism connects cognition to critical theoretical questions of power and social justice. In this context Kinchelow constructs a critical theory of cognition that explores questions of meaning, emancipation vis-a-vis -vis ideological inscription, and a particular focus on the sociopolitical construction of the self. With these concerns in mind Kinchelow's post-formal critical consciousness engages questions of purpose, issues of human dignity, freedom, authority, reconceptualized notions of reason, intellectual quality, and social responsibility. Post-formal critical consciousness stimulates a conversation between critical pedagogy and a wide range of social, cultural, political economic, psychological, and philosophical concerns. Kinchelow employs this multilogical conversation to shape new modes of self-awareness, more effective forms of social, political, and pedagogical action, and an elastic model of an evolving critical consciousness Kinchelow and Steinberg, 1993, Kinchelow, 1999, Thomas and Kinchelow, 2006. Fry's development of critical consciousness has been expanded upon in several academic disciplines and common applications. Public health community collaborations focused on HIV prevention for women, the role of critical consciousness in adult education, and the effect of peer pressure on cigarette smokers Fry's notion of critical consciousness is, in part, a type of political consciousness. See also Adult education Adult literacy Class consciousness Critical pedagogy Identity politics Liberation psychology Popular education Praxis Praxis intervention Teaching for social justice <laughs>